Hello, Army of Light Earth Division. Shauna L. Francis here. Today is January 4th, 2023. Thank you so much for joining me for today's Ascension Daily Update. Are we having fun yet? <laughs> Today, I've brought with me my Adat Walker. You know, he's metal, he's plastic, he kind of feels good in the hands, you know? like I don't need my green emerald heart today I've got my Adat Walker I do believe this guy um, was part of the the bad guys right but when I saw this thing on the big screen in the 70s or 80s whenever this Empire Strikes Back came out I just freaked out at this this was such a visual marvel to see these things walking and uh, to watch how uh, they brought these things down with their their ships and wrapping the wire around the legs and they would trip them and they would fall <laughs> anyway this is uh keeping space for me today i'm going to hold this guy today all right well welcome everybody i actually had a pretty uh short conversation today continuing the conversation from yesterday with that eighth density being who is not in embodiment a lot of energy work today i it was, it's a thousand words, but it took, um, I think we were doing this for two hours today by the time it was all said and done. So a lot of acclimation for whatever reason. Um, and it was a really quite a beautiful exchange feeling very, uh, by the time this being started speaking, we were just like in lockstep with each other. Just, uh, I felt like my body couldn't move. All I, all I had were my words. That's the only thing I was even aware of. So just very, very much deep into that field with this being. Um, I, uh, no, no second being came through today, um, probably because this was, this was energetically intense uh, for me, um, but just really beautiful, beautiful words coming through today. Support, talk about you guys too, <laughs> which is always fun. Everybody, thanks again for your comments and for supporting each other, for supporting me, for being here, for watching these videos. Um, we are we are embarking on something just really incredible, and I'm feeling it more and more every day. Just how incredible this process has been, and I know I overuse that word, but it's just it's the word. It's my word. Um, maybe I will set an intention for 2023 to find a, a replacement for it. The word incredible. <laughs> All right, team, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and get started here into this exchange with this eighth dimensional being today. <clears throat> so some pleasantries, of course. Yes, Shauna, good afternoon. What a pleasure it is. Again, they say here to commune with you in this way an honor and a pleasure. I'm noticing that a lot of the GFL will say this. It's kind of like um, their um, standard greeting, which is quite lovely. And they said here, thank you for your willingness to give this a try, to put your effort and focus into, into developing these heartfelt connections across the dimensions. You are brave, dear one. You are so brave and your heart continues to open, continues to invite us in. I'm definitely feeling that. And then they said here, and through this process, you will begin to know yourself even deeper. The truth of who you are, Shauna, why you are here, and the importance of these tasks. Yeah. Um, and I talked about this yesterday, how um, there's the words that are coming through and we're meeting all these beings, but then there's also the love that's really palpable and just really starting to do its magic. Um, and I'm getting more and more comfortable with receiving and kind of exchanging this love at this level. Um, especially at the beginning, it was, it was kind of overwhelming, um, honestly. And, and just those feelings like, am I worthy? Am I, why am I worthy of this love? And to, to feel this so, so deeply, especially like with that twin flame energy from a while back. Um, anyway, just really feeling loved and supported. And I hope you guys are too. All right, so there's a nice long pause after that. And I said, thank you so much. I said, it's an honor and pleasure for me to speak with you. It feels magical and just awe, awe inspiring. And they said, yes, Shauna, I can imagine that. As stated yesterday, I'm an eighth dimensional being of light. I'm doing work for the Galactic Federation of Light, 
though I do not <clears throat> consider myself necessarily a full-fledged member, more of a free agent. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I serve many entities, groups, consortiums as it relates to bringing harmony and balance back to the light and dark spectrums that are out of balance. And remember, this is what the GFL does. They go in and they help balance out um, places that are out of balance um, toward the light. So anything that's extra dark or out of balance toward the dark, they come in to counterbalance that. And they said here, this is an important task ahead of you, ahead of myself, ahead for so many of us. As your previous guest discussed, we handle this with great care. It is our greatest intention to join with you in the highest of integrity, to help bring about a deep understanding and a knowing of the imbalances of dark versus light on your planet and within your species. Bringing our love, allowing you to feel in a deep way what this connection means beyond the information being relayed. As Mother Earth and the species who are ready upon her surface decide that they are ready to enter the galactic stage, we are here with open arms ready to embrace you. And someday it will be that the dark imbalance here becomes a dark imbalance for everyone. You will see this and you will know it. And you too will take up the cause for others in your situation today. You've joined the fold. You feel the solidarity and the shared communion that comes from having a common purpose. So your perspective will change from please help us, please help me, to how can I help others? And this is a major gateway in the evolution of any species. <clears throat> and uh, switching gears here. Those who walk this path, Shauna, they've said yes to changing a great deal about what they believe, how they feel about themselves and others. These very important relationships within ourselves and with others shift dramatically through this process. Stepping out of the popular held beliefs about victimhood and reclaiming sovereignty and freedom of choice is also one of the major and critical gateways on this path of evolution. As we all help aid with the complete picture of the negative reptilian influence on planet Earth, the perception of good versus evil, light versus dark, <clears throat> us versus them, change in significant ways. And for the light worker on this journey, May I say that it is a critical stepping stone. All right. <clears throat> okay, guys. So basically here. Sorry, a little tickle in my throat. <clears throat> stepping out on this path of light here, really understanding what this path means. It's a complete sea change in how we view ourselves and the world, how we view our relationships to other. Who are we in relation to others? Um, stepping out of popular held beliefs like I am a victim. You have done me wrong. You have screwed me over. You have um, cut me off at the knees. <clears throat> you have made my life a, a, a miserable living hell. Um, all, whatever, whatever those things are, right? The, the idea of victimhood, right? Reclaiming sovereignty and freedom of choice. You know, it, it's, it needs to happen here at the level of our personal, right? Our personality levels. Then this impa impacts the collective, which will eventually impact the whole of all of humanity. But we just have to start within ourselves here. Knowing ourselves is free. Knowing ourselves in choice. Because when you think about the negative reptilian influence, it's an influence. They aren't forcing this on us, believe it or not. But we just, unfortunately, this hasn't been really, you know, at the level of consciousness that we needed to be up till now 
to really be able to see it and do something about it. And that's part of what this disclosure is trying to do. So we are making choices here that we're not victims. We're not going to just allow this influence to control us. We are in choice here. We're coming into the awakening that we are in choice. And this is a critical stepping stone for anybody on an evolutionary path. And from what they've said, everybody's on an evolutionary path of some way, shape or form, just at different stages. All right. <clears throat> and then they say here, this is one of the major reasons why, Shauna, the team who has gathered around you, who is rallying with you and supporting you, are specific and deliberate in terms of their participation. Okay, so this is again restating in a different way that all of you here, the six or seven or eight or hundred, you know, 800 of you who watch these videos on a regular basis, who have tuned in over the last couple of years, who are resonating with these messages, with this frequency that's coming through, this is no accident. So this beautiful eighth dimensional being here is once again reiterating this, this idea that we have all come down here together, say down here to earth, right? Many of us have been here for a long time, many, many incarnations. Excuse me. And we're, we're actually working together as a collective to help raise the frequency here, working together to help raise consciousness, help with the awakening through our energetics, through our presence. Um, so, <laughs> and then we've got this other team over here on the, on the other side of the veil in the angelic realm and the ascended masters all coming together here. So we are one piece of a larger puzzle, one piece of the program. So it is definitely a group effort. We've got our piece here. It seems to be very much reptilian, negative reptilian based. Um, and I've known that from the beginning with my mission. Um, it seems to be aligning with a lot of you as well. And maybe more so than others, you know, maybe, the, you know, it's, it's hard to tell to what degree you're gonna resonate with the whole reptilian part of it. But for some reason, for important reasons, here you are helping with this particular group of folks with this with this mission of light. <laughs> ah, I'm so glad that you're here guys, really. And then and then this person this being says, this team represents your core soul family on earth today. Know that you can rely on them heavily as this process unfolds. It's such a relief to hear this and to really, I really know it and I really feel it. So all I can say team is thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for saying yes to this path and helping me out here, supporting each other. Um, what an incredible ride. <laughs> what an incredible ride. So it was so nice to hear this again today. I'm like, and by this time, and there was a long pause and we'd been at this for a couple of hours at this point. So I'm like, thank you so much. I said, is there any, is there a name that I can refer to you as? And I heard the word whisper, <laughs> probably because I was kind of whispering. So I hear whisper. So this being wants to be referred to as whisper. Okay. All right. So again, there, there was a big long pause. We went deeper and deeper with this energy, really feeling like I lost myself. Maybe 20, 30 minutes later, I kind of came out of that. And I said, Whisper, are you still here? And they said, Shauna, yes. Thank you for allowing the extra time together here for the deeper energetic communion. I will be back to continue these conversations with you at another time. Ah. <sighs> And then I swear it was like another 10 minutes before I kind of came out of that, that field and um, checked to see if there's anybody else who wanted to come through today and it was nothing happening. And I double checked that with Melchizedek. All right, guys. Um, I just want to state a few affirmations here and you can do this with me if this resonates for you, but just, just very quickly here. And this has to do with our sovereignty and freedom and uh, not uh, you know, breaking out of this victimhood paradigm. Today in this moment, I claim 100% responsibility for my own happiness.
right now in this one infinite moment, I claim 100% responsibility for my self-confidence. Right now, in this one infinite moment, I claim 100% responsibility for my feelings of self-worth. Today, I choose love. Absolute, unconditional, infallible love for myself. And today I choose gratitude for this incredible life that I've led with all the colorful people that have come in and out of my life, all the hard lessons, hard fought lessons I've learned, these experiences I've had for the karma I've been able to balance up to this point. What an incredible ride. I'm so thankful to be able to be here right now experiencing this lifetime. And then for good measure, we'll add this in. Thank you so much, our spirit teams. Thank you, my personal spirit guides, my higher self for being with me along this journey every step of the way. Thank you for everything that you've done for me, even though I haven't always recognized your help. Thank you for bringing us together, this beautiful soul family to help support the earth of the ascension of earth and humanity. Thank you for helping me know who and what I am in truth. And thank you again for supporting me in everything that I do. All right, team, I hope that resonates. Okay, that's it for tonight. I'm going to let you all go. I'm going to take down all my Christmas stuff. So glad that I've got a few hours to be able to do that <laughs> still left in the day. Okay, team, I love you all. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Mwah.